guys hey hey <laughs> how's everybody doing man uh i am out of my mind and and i'm i just man i'm fried it's been a hellacious two weeks um i'm having fun uh i had a massage this morning tim marks came over uh this afternoon after that and we sat here and went over some song ideas for the trio so we can keep keep hitting uh some stuff fresh with you on that um man had a great uh week um of busy stuff had a nice meeting with Jed Hughes I know he said a nice thing on his channel about us being the Carruthers brothers when we used to live in that big house off of 12 South that's a whole other story for another day uh, we feel like we kind of pioneered that neighborhood it was a little rough when we when we, when we moved over there and then um, we started playing music at the 12 South tap room my buddy's place it's still there a great tap room we had Monday nights music there and then that's when that neighborhood started changing man people started coming over there and hanging out and so we like to feel like we kind of pioneered that neighborhood um, I know I said that already twice, but, um, but man, just fun stuff. Great hanging with Jed, man. And we got a little surprise for you guys. I'm not going to tell you that just yet, but in a couple minutes, I'm going to drop the news on you guys. You probably already know what it is, but we're really excited. Uh, I had a great hang with Nick, uh, Govrick yesterday up at Riverside. Um, we're still talking about doing this big uh, Nashville guitar emerging experience soon. Um, just a lot of stuff going on, man. I got uh, Ashley that works with me, who you, you guys have dealt with a bunch, man. I could not do anything without her. She's such an amazing help uh, with my calendar and just keeping my life organized, man. She's a rock star. Uh, and just, um, and I'm, I'm unbelievable. I'm so lucky to have some amazing people that help me keep my life from completely falling apart. Um, but that's what we like. That's why we like the excitement of playing music. We like it hanging right on the edge before everything just falls apart. But we can't live our lives like that. Um, but uh, that's what the music. That's what the music's for. We can let our crazy come out in, in that world, right? So hey guys, look man, I got a. Um, uh, I think I got a, something here that you guys are really gonna dig. I mean, I, I keep trying to get better at teaching and I'm learning how to try to be a better teacher as I do a lot more education stuff and and man um 
it helps me a better be a better guitar player because I uh, have to sit and try to figure all this stuff out. What am I actually doing on this thing? And so I think this is going to help you guys a lot. I did a little tritone thing the other day, which don't don't let that fool you. All that means is it's like an E7. Like if we're in E, I think you guys are really going to dig this. And and what I want to make clear here is, um, as far as playing over changes and playing over the dominant seven and leading into other chords and making it sound like you are playing with a purpose and, and some direction over changes and all the good stuff that we always talk about. It really comes down to this right here. And I'm gonna play this for you. This is just E to A to B, but I'm gonna play E to E7, A to A7, B to B7, and then, and then you know the, the one to the seven. So I want you to understand something here before I get into all this. That's what we have to convey with our lead playing. So when we look at these chords and we see that this is an E, an E7 pulling our ear, you know, as soon as you hear that, that E7, that's pulling your ear to the next chord. So if I look at just triads, if I play E, e to E7, as soon as you incorporate that flat 7, it's pulling your ear to the major third of that next chord. If you look at this, the flat seven of E, the D note, is pulling your ear towards that A. So when I'm playing lead guitar, I'm playing the exact same notes. You're just playing the single notes. You're not thinking of the of playing chords with multiple strings and duplicates of roots, thirds, and fifths and flat sevens and stuff, you're just wanting to play the single notes. To, you have to emphasize the notes in, that change in the chord with your lead guitar playing. That's what makes it sound like music. And that's the, we gotta really zoom out here and get, get back into what really is going on here. So if I'm playing an, an, an E, and it goes to E7, that next chord, A, because you know, you know, major third. So if I go here, so even that A7, pulling your ear towards the major third of the, now watch, B, B7, back to the major third of, of that. So, okay, now let me show you how this works. If I'm playing this, this E7 chord right here, here's my E, here's my E7. So you've got one, three, five, flat seven. So if I'm going E, E7, A. So I'm just taking the big chord, but I'm just showing you in the triad, right? So it's here. Then when that changes from E7 to A, now this is gonna work anywhere on the fingerboard, any triad, any chord, you can see this. And I recommend doing that. You gotta see it everywhere. You know, stay in, a, stay in one shape for right now. And, and I wanna reiterate something that is just of utmost importance is your hand position. Your hand has to be in, in one of these chord positions because if not, you're just flailing all over the place and you're gonna be lost forever. You have to learn these these hand positions are absolutely crucial with these chord shapes. I'm seeing guys every single day and they don't have this down. You have to have this down, have to. So if I go E7 to A, what's really happening there is this, right? So, Watch A7, because I'm dropping that down to the flat seven. Now guess what's happening here? Back to the A, so uh, back to the E, I mean the, the major third. Now watch, up, up one fret, that insinuates B7, because getting this you know one to the seven 
then the four chord to the seven, then back to the one, then the five, seven, back to that. So if I'm playing, you know, uh, out of this, this shape, if I go, right, if I go, then my next lick could be, So if I go E, E7, then my next note's going to be over the A chord, the major third. So if I, so I can go here. And so instead of just going, you know, I might go. Right, I'm playing the bass note so you can hear it. I wouldn't play lead like that, but you see what I mean? So look, so here's, there's so much to this, but now watch, if I go to the, uh, uh, so A7, now, all right, so it's about the major third, that, it's 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 every triad. So if I go watch, if I start up here on, let's go to the A shape. If I take this part, uh, let's go E, A shape, E chord, first three strings, E, E seven, A, A seven, E, E seven, A. E. So if I'm playing lead guitar with that, I'm going to go. That's a little example, right? So uh, if I am in, um, if I'm playing here, E7, G shape, E, E7. You know, it's, it's, you know, there's B, B7, E, right? So if we can see, or, or, that's B7. So just look at that. Right, because there's my, you know, A to A7. It's really just this, it's, if you can translate this simple thing of one, four, five, and hear the seven pull into those next chords, if you use your brain and really look at those changes in those triads, you you can you will unlock an unbelievable door to playing the guitar and being able to solo and play all the lead you want and all the ideas you want. I'm telling you, this is where it's at, um, and it, and it takes a lot to get in this because there's so much there. But that's the idea. It's this simple. What's, 
changed in there is idea uh, okay friends got a couple things I want to tell you uh, there's a rumor going ar around um, this crazy rumors going around that, that that we're going back to New York City with the trio uh, November 18th 19th and 20th and some people are on the street are saying that um, that uh, that we're taking Uncle Larry our friend Tom Bukovac uh, uh, and I'm, and we're we're gonna actually take Uncle Larry with us to New York City we're gonna take Nick Govrick and we're going to take Jed Hughes, and we're going to have some other special guests up there. So this is the big in-stereo record release party in New York City with Tom Bukovac, Uncle Larry, Nick Govrick, and Jed Hughes, myself and my guys with the trio, Tim Marks and Jordan Pearlson. And we're coming to New York November 18th, 19th, and 20th. We're going to do three nights at the Bitter End. We cannot wait. We're stoked. I've got them all confirmed. We're committed. We're buying tickets. We're buying hotel rooms. We're buying champagne. We're going crazy. Um, we're going to do it all, man. Uh, I had a little too much fun last night for the first time in a while. And so thanks for putting up with me, friends. I'm having fun. Uh, I had to blow off a little steam. And so I hooked up with uh, one of my friends is the doctor that works with all the Titans. And and uh, he's an awesome guy, guitar fanatic. So we went out and and, uh, and hung with some cats and just bounced around East Nashville, checked out a couple of new clubs, trying to keep our thumb on the pulse of East Nashville. Nightlife, you got to do it. You know, if you're going to be a a, a a gun slinging guitar player in Nashville, uh, I didn't say that. I don't think I'm a gun slinging guitar player. But um, if you're going to, you know, be in uh, an East an East Nashville, you got to keep up with what's happening in your neighborhood. So hey guys, look, thanks a million. Check out the links below. All that stuff that we got to say here on these fancy uh, uh, YouTube channels that we all have here. About to hit ninety thousand followers, man. Let's do it. Thank you guys so much. I hope you get something out of this. Use your brain and really look at the chords that are changing. Take a big E chord and E7 and look at two and three notes that are changing when you go from E to A to B. Simple one, four, five. You can do a million things with just those chords. Keep it simple. Have fun. Telecasting to you from East Nashville. Uh, I'll talk to you guys real soon. Thanks a bunch. Don't forget to check out some Dano casters. And, uh, and we'll see you guys in a couple days, maybe tomorrow. All right, guys. Have a great weekend. And we'll see you real soon. All right, bye.